The world is a really scary place for trans people at the moment. Here are some simple ways as to how you can help and support trans people right now. When a trans person tells you that they're changing their name, make sure that your response is one of support to the person instead of making it about your own reaction. You might have really loved that person's old name or you might have fond memories of calling them that, but it's not about you. Remember, everything is about me. Me, me, me. You cannot claim that the transition doesn't affect other people. It of course affects the person's family, their parents, who raised and named the person. I just recently changed my own name and announced it to the people in my life and all of you, and I want to share some good things that people have said and done. Everyone has said, oh, I love your new name, it's so perfect for you, and that just feels so supportive. It feels supportive, but not fake. If you've already decided how people should react to you coming out as trans, you would never know how they truly feel. This is why I say that the trans community doesn't really represent real transsexual people. Real transsexuals don't want to control people's speech, thoughts, and behavior. We want to live in the real world. The real world is extremely unpredictable. But trans activists who are not transsexuals want to live in their own bubbles where they feel safe and protected. They want the rest of the world to blindly affirm them all the time. And they don't really care if other people are lying to them. And trans activists don't really care if people are fake when affirming them, because as long as they can control the rest of the world, they're happy. This is a fetish trans activists get off by controlling others, and it's disgusting, and has nothing to do with LGBT. Many folks have also texted a screenshot of their updated contact name with my new name or told me that they did that. And folks have been using my new name when talking about me now and stories from the past. Speaking of controlling, this is... <clears throat> it's giving me toxic relationship vibes. Proof that you're home right now. Send me a picture. Or you're with your friends. What friends are you with? Do you talk about me? What do you say about me? Names are deeply personal and very integral to who we are, and trans people, when they choose a name, do it with intention, so respect it. XO Dolly J. It's not really that deep, to be honest. I mean, there's some truth to it, because, you know, trans people choose their own names, their new names, but... But babe, it's just a name, it's not that deep. All this talk about, you must respect me. Are you planning on respecting the people you demand respect from? No? Well, shut up then. Coming out as trans is difficult. Very difficult. You have to tell your parents that, to some degree, they're losing a daughter or a son. Not only that, you have to come out saying that you're miserable. You're so miserable about your life that you have to fundamentally change it and your body. It's so incredibly naive and stupid to expect your family and friends to react like, Oh, bravo! You're so stunning and brave! What is your new name? I'm so excited to hear more about it. And even though there's not a necessarily wrong way to react, I still think it's the wrong way to react. Being trans is not fun. You have to remember it's not the same as coming out as gay. I get so annoyed when people compare being gay to being trans. Two very fundamentally different things. Living a transsexual life means that you're gonna be medicalized for life. Of course you can live a somewhat normal life as a trans person. I'm very happy with my life and I also feel great mentally and physically. But when you first come out to the people you love, it's only natural that they're gonna be sad, if not devastated. It's totally valid and no one should police that. I don't think that trans activists are stupid and naive. I think they know exactly what they're doing, know exactly what they're saying. Their goal is to control you. Maybe it doesn't make sense to normal and nice people, but you gotta remember, not all people are nice and normal. Here are three quick language changes to make you a better ally to the trans community. What I'm not gonna say is, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, you will never be a good enough ally because it's more fun to feel superior to you and it's more fun to control you. Number one, asking someone for their pronouns, not their preferred pronouns. I obviously don't get easily offended, but if you truly want to offend me, ask me what my pronouns are. And I've experienced this multiple times and I got offended. I responded with, I did not transition, I did not take testosterone, cut off my breasts in order for people to ask, what are your pronouns? Because I'm not gonna assume. Please assume. That's the f point. The video I'm reacting to is about how to please trans activists, but not transsexual people. If you truly want to be a trans ally, meaning just a decent human being towards trans people, do not ever ask them about their pronouns. The term preferred implies that it's a preference rather than a necessity. And for many trans people, the right pronouns feel 
like an absolute necessity. Dropping the preferred before pronouns implies to the person that you intend to respect who they are. Are these people okay? A person will never be truly happy if they're so addicted to being affirmed all the time, being validated. Look, your joy and your self-worth should come from within. The only person you can trust in this world is yourself. So stop being addicted to other people, in other words. Number two, putting the space after the word trans. The word trans is an adjective, a describing word, whereas words like man, woman, and person are nouns. If this doesn't look right, then this shouldn't look right either. It might seem like a small thing, but it actually makes a huge amount of difference. No, no, trans man is the term and the descriptor. A trans man is not a man with a trans experience. What's the point then? Then they can't be trans if they're already men to begin with. Just because you're ashamed of being trans doesn't mean that trans men are men. The world is a really scary place for trans people at the moment, but here are some simple ways as to how you can help and support trans people right now. Number one, donate to charities that help and advocate for trans people like these. So in other words, give us money or you're a transphobe. Okay, she didn't say that, but still. No, you don't need to pay any organizations in order to support trans people. I hope you all know this already. Number two, testify and sign petitions against transphobia, bills, laws in your country. Hang on, it's not transphobic in any way if you're not supporting sterilizing gender-confused children with puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones, and shame on you for being against the laws that will protect these children. Leave kids alone. Number four, support trans-owned businesses, creators, artists, people trying to make a living, their surgery or hormone fundraisers. I can't with these fundraisers. Pay for my top surgery, pay for my gender affirming care. Please don't. Most of the time it's not real trans people demanding you to pay them for their surgeries. But I kind of like her idea, uh, you know, supporting trans artists, trans creators. I'm just kidding. Number five, be vocal publicly about supporting trans people. This equally means that you should challenge those with transphobic views or try to educate those who don't understand trans issues. No, you don't have to say anything in public if you don't want to. Stop controlling other people's speech, honey. It's not a good look. I can't stand how these activists are demanding such a weird and fake behavior from other people. What is the point then? Like, does it even feel good when they finally say something that you demanded them to say? I've heard the occasional, oh, you're so brave, Marcus, when I talk about my gender journey. And I think it's superficial. I don't think me being trans is brave. But if someone is calling me brave due to the work I do, I actually feel like they mean it because it makes a little bit more sense. If you want to share with the world that you support certain trans people, please do. Please share my channel, Buck Angel's channel, Blair White's channel, Sarah Higdon's channel. That would be super awesome. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. Watching these videos makes me so happy that I wasn't like that when I came out. I hope I wasn't, and if I was, I'm sorry, because their behavior is super toxic and almost psychopathic. I'm super grateful that my family and my friends, coworkers reacted in an honest way. I knew exactly how they felt about me coming out and it wasn't fun always, but at least it was sincere. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support my work, my PayPal is in the description down below, but no pressure whatsoever because I'm already super grateful for all of you. Remember, you can become a member of this channel. We have so much fun, so come join us. Follow me on Twitter and Rumble, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.